There was a phone call I had, um, he was shouting at me on the phone. I thought it was me who started him off. I got really upset, distressed, anxious and worried. They really touch on the deep feelings that are going on, perhaps more than they could do with words. It goes beyond words. It's very powerful, but very gentle at the same time. It's a really powerful healing tool. Art therapists, have, as a profession, has been going since the 1960s. Uh, I tend to use the term art psychotherapy, perhaps more than art therapy, because I think that describes it better. And the client is invited in to use the art materials in the room in any way that they wish. And from that, we begin to explore what might be distressing them. Just the fact of starting to settle into these lovely art materials just starts to slow people down and they, so they start to be able to think more and feel more. There's a triangular relationship between the, uh, the client, the artwork and the therapist. I think some of the misconceptions could be that art therapy is either a place where you go to relax, like therapeutic art, um, and perhaps an understanding that can be involved quite in depth work with some quite strong emotions. These are like twirlies, uh -huh. like my tummy, how I felt. Some people find it easier to describe their difficulties through images or metaphors or stories. And uh, that's me. That's you there, and you don't look very happy there, is that no, right? No, that's how I felt when that call came through. And you've got the twirly inside your yeah. tummy. And my head. And in your head. Yeah. Yeah. So it made your thoughts... Um, everywhere, like, going miserable, like, everywhere, in my body, in my head. Yeah, really and affected you. People sometimes worry that art therapists are going to analyse their artwork with x-ray eyes, which we can't do. Uh, I try and ask what it means to the client, and, and from that we begin to think more about um, what their needs and difficulties are. What I find really interesting is these little creatures here. They are worms. Worms. They're kind of all looking in different directions, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I think when we first thought about this, you were wondering if they were like caterpillars. Yeah. And we were wondering if they were going to find the flower. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they were going towards the flower. Yes. But none of them seem to be going that way, do no. they? No. They're not going the same way. No. So I'm wondering if these caterpillars are feeling a bit lost. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And could that be part of how you'd felt? Yeah. Yeah, not sure where yeah. to go. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes people could disclose quite difficult things that they really needed to get over that hurdle and so that they could start talking in the group and that their picture was their way in. I find it fascinating how people's artwork changes from when they begin to when they end. The things that come out, it's just a very surprising map of where you are. They develop their own art language which then helps them express themselves and then they're more able to then talk to their carers or their family about how they feel. It's been helpful, I can describe how I'm feeling. It's changed me quite a lot because I used to be scared but now I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate the courage that people have to go into therapy. It's not an easy thing to do. Tell me what you've got here. I've got a rainbow and a shooting star. OK. Uh-huh. Because um, everywhere you go, the stars are all around you in the sky. Yeah. And my nan's not just in the sky, she's in my heart. OK. All the time. 